And this is our balcony on the Nordham. It's 20th of June. We're still in Civita Vecchia. Uh, looks like they're redoing a, a bunch of more wharfs down there. So let's see. Smile bit. today is dead calm. Incredible. Beautiful day. 25 degrees maybe most so far.
size ship. Uh, the dock in Monte Carlo. Your mother is in talking to tourist people. Good shots on this. Yeah, really good shots. The only way you can get Side. A big square up on the rock in uh, Monaco. Monaco. There, uh, just forced her to crawl up the side of the mountain to get here. And I don't know who that is. And we are looking down on. Over there to the knee after a big roll. Yeah, the there. And over there is our ship. Uh -oh. I thought I was. It's a tattoo here. It's a tattoo. It's a very old. Okay, we, we, we. Voila! It's a One of our ships moving out. <laughs> Coming into Barcelona. Looks like the airport is over there.
I can walk in and do it. I'm just pressing it. Here, up. here. Good! Today this area is the Barcelona Fair Avenue. Then look at the red building. This is the Barcelona Lipong entrance. It's from the other side there. Eh? Then okay, please. Then remember my inspiration. People that they prefer to stay here, perfect. People that they want to come with me, perfect. Every one of you can follow me. Let's go outside. If you can left in the bus everything, then we are to give you an idea, we are going to be outside maybe 40 minutes, outside, eh? First all together, and after, after I explain where and when we are going to, to, to join with the bus, you will have some free time. Okay, let's go ahead. This is the uh, center of the boat. Can you drill? Chandelier in the middle. The bar down there, which is not open right now. And I have to run and catch up to your mother. Elevators, the midship elevators. These all on the outside, uh, those elevators go on the outside of the ship, which again is kind of nice. Another surprise, surprise. Little bar and uh, room. Go down here, catch up with your grandmother, mother. Casino, the bar. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh yeah. Oh for crying out loud! 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 I'm here. Okay. This is the big um, place where all the shows take place. And all we are at 8 o'clock in the morning is waiting for our tour to start. The monastery. Mm. Little table down there for some stuff. You need some water. Two these before you take off. Uh, ninth century, eight hundred year eight hundred and eighty. This is according to the legend. This uh, this mountain cave is now is nowadays nowadays can be visited. Uh, there is a pathway that leads to this chapel, the Holy Grotto. And uh, but it's a pathway that I don't recommend to do. I mean to do today because you need at least for well ninth century the first apparition of uh, of Our Lady of Montserrat. Through South America. 
Hoy Montserrat, tu ergo en parking, a vol en bus park, bus parking. What a beautiful view, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> you have your uh, seat belts faster, okay? <laughs> well, no, it's... Uh... What good does that do? <laughs> and on the left hand side uh, you can see a little monastery, some very, uh, very big deal monastery. But this monastery is of nuns. The monastery in, um, in Montserrat. on it. We know where we are. Soldiers of all the Soldiers? Yeah, like churches in Montreal or churches in Italy or churches. Go keep on with your travel churches, out there. Churches, uh, soldiers in Spain, they get all the holes in the wall.
got facial recognition. Right. Is that the back of It's the back and down. Everybody's up there touching it. So we do need to move there. Pardon? We do need to move in the glasses. What happens when we come back every night? Eat chocolate. Do we want breakfast in our room? Note. Put something. <laughs> and then our smart ass uh, guy has got a monkey made out of a towel. Every night he has something different. Last uh, night it was a frog with two big gold <laughs> eyes. We've had a penguin. And I don't know what the hell else we've had, but uh, he does good work. And, looking out the window, there's a boat just coming in. They've been coming and going all day. It's uh, Spain, and um, they've got a holiday today. There was at least seven, eight boats in here. All of them, the big ones. This one's a relatively small ferry. I'm not sure what it is. Mallorca is coming in. Must be the dock area down there. I can see a couple of boats. No bowls today, but this is bull ring in Palma de Mallorca. And we're on top of this damn castle as much as we can. And just behind you, the northern range of mountains called Serra de Tramontana Mountains, where all the highest peaks of Mallorca are situated. In front of you, a tower called Naburguesa, a monument to the Virgin Mary. At the same time, that tower represents a welcome to all the visitors. As the first thing for significant to Mallorca, Mallorca, Oh, 
Okay, you can enjoy from here the beautiful view of the bay. The bay has two different shipping ports. That one on the left hand side and the other one in front of you. The one in front of you is a private one, very exclusive one. And this is the best place. boat that goes from Palermo uh, up to Livorno or Civita Vecchia. I don't know what that thing is up there. It looks like a big hotel. And this is the port, nice and close to the ship. So wasn't a problem. It's the El Presidente Hotel, which needs a couple of new signs. And this is the downtown area, right here. Nobody bothers checking passports or anything. It's wide open. And my partner, still getting along. I'm supposed to be looking after her package. Friday. And after the Normans took possession of Sicily, um, the first king, Roger II, was crowned inside this cathedral. And when Alfonso of Aragona was here, he received the crown of king also inside this cathedral. And all the others after him, including the Bourbonian kings, they were always officially crowned kings inside the same cathedral. Consequently, you can understand each time we passed from one terminator to a new one, that was the right time. Partway up the hill to this place in Palermo. And you know, as we are in the fruit, change ten percent of This 
is for uh, adults and children. And the ping pong table there. And um, up at the far end there's a bar there. And over there, there is a snack bar which is open on most of the afternoon. restaurant we basically open you know, about 16 hours a day and there's all sorts of foods available drinks of course anything alcoholic uh, or even uh, soft drinks you pay for yourself although they do make lemonade available and they this is um, pasta. And this squad is empty right now, but it normally contains Beth's uh, bread pudding. This is the dessert bar. It's actually empty right now, but just because uh, they're not starting uh, dinner for another bit. Mm -hmm. This is normally, you know, shrimp cocktails, uh, salmon cocktails, fruit cocktails, everything. In there, big salad bar, there's two or three of them. And here, and I'm not going to believe this, but there's a bar over on the left hand side. Uh, also, we're just moving out now, so uh, our buddy here is uh, moving out and turning. Back he goes, as a matter of fact. And he has to turn around and go through there. And this is where you get off the boat. Uh, voila, there's another big freaking boat on that side. There's the shopping center, of course, supposedly duty free outlets. And there's the other one. And here is Napoli. Little uh, I don't know, fortress just on the outside, and you can go up the hill. And that place, 